What's going on guys? This is JT here. I am over here on the iOS server on my main account. In this video, we're going to be doing something that players have been wanting me to do for a very long time on my main account, and that is opening up all of my hero cards. So I was saving them for a while, and then I was like, wait, I have like over 500 of these bad boys. Let's just go ahead and make a video opening them all up. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So first, we have 293 of the Legendary Event Hero card. We also have 122 of the Prime Hero card 1s, and we got 50 Prime Hero card 2s, along with 34 Prime Hero card 3s. Now, let's go ahead and start off with, obviously, the easiest one to get, which is the Legendary Event Hero card. Now, out of this card... Most free-to-play players have pretty much all of these heroes, especially besides Skull Knight, Dredrake, and Ghulam. So that's really like what you're searching for whenever you're opening this card, no doubt. So I wanted to keep track of exactly how many of each of those I got. And in order to do that, I figured I might as well sell a uh, Skull Knight, Dredrake, and Ghulam. That way we can just check right at the end. So we'll take, ooh, selling 50 Skull Knights. That is kind of painful. Sorry to all you free-to-play players out there that are like, JT, don't sell them, don't sell them. There ain't no choice, boys. It's the easiest way to keep track. So we don't need that many of them. All right, 63 Dread Drakes. Ooh, see you later, Dread Drake. This one actually hurts pretty bad as well. Ghoulum, because I do need that on the free-to-play. See you later, Ghoulum. All right, so we don't have any Dread Drakes, any Skull Knights, or any Ghoulums. Let's go ahead, get in here, open up. All 293 of these bad boys at the same time. Actually, let's open up three of them. Three solo, and then all 290 at the same time. So we start off with a Death Knight. We got a freaking tree. And a Cupid. All right, here they all come. Boys, what do we got coming? The quick open. Oh, baby. Nothing good there. There's one Dread Drake. What else do we got? Just one Dread Drake so far? Oh, my gosh. Come on. One Ghoulam as well. Looks like we didn't even have to sell all my cards. At this rate, we got one Skull Knight finally. What else do we got coming? Come on. Keep the goods coming. We're Skull Knight, Ghoulam, and Dread Drake. I at least need a couple so I can evolve them on my main account if I want to. Come on. There's one more Ghoulam. That's nice to see. Maybe opening them up like this is not that good of an idea. I don't know. There's one more Skull Knight. We got one Ghoulam and one Dread Drake. That was probably the best 10-pack opening right there. And one more Ghoulam. So overall from that, we got three Skull Knights, two Dread Drakes, and five Ghoulams. Really? Out of 293 cards? Oh my gosh. Yeah, so I really actually feel pretty blessed, honestly, after opening that and finding this out. Because I think I've gotten over two Dread Drakes alone on my free-to-play account from this card. And I know for a fact I haven't opened more than 10 on my free-to-play account. So to only get two out of 290, that is absolutely absurd. Now, from Prime Hero Card 1, the new heroes that you really care about from this are either really Medusa's like okay now, but not like a huge hero. So Valentina, Medusa, and also Grimfing. So let's go ahead and delete those three heroes. Oh, do we need to even? Yeah, let's go ahead and delete them. Just makes it super easy. That way I don't even have to count anything. 38 Valentinas, sad to see you go, but see you later. We got 75 Grim Fiends. See you later, Grim Fiend. And 80 Medusas. See you later, Medusa. All right, so let's go ahead and open these bad boys up. We'll open up two, two separate, and then 120 total. That way it's just 10 at a time. So we got Medusa to start. Okay, started off with a decent hero and Beast Tamer. That is what you do not want to see. Pretty much anything in the top row is absolutely garbage at this point. Besides Ares. Ares is pretty good. But you don't really want him from a Prime Hero card because he's a little bit too easy to get. And Prime Hero cards, right, you want either Dredrake, Ghoulam, Skull Knight, Grim Fiend, Medusa, or Valentina. So let's go ahead and open all these bad boys up. What do we got? We got one Grim Fiend, two Medusas there. We got three Valentinas, one Medusa. Oh, I'm just going to have to check at the end. It's going a little too fast for me to keep up. I see some Ghoulams in there. I don't think we've gotten a single Skull Knight yet, though. Did we really, did we really not even get one Skull Knight from all that? All right, let's see. So we got 11 Valentina. So Valentina seems like probably the easiest hero to get from the Prime Hero ones. We got three Grim Fiends, which I already knew was going to be the hardest one to get. It's very hard to get Grim Fiend out of those cards, like you see. Three out of 120. That's crazy. Eight Medusas. Now, how many Skull Knights did we get? We still got three. So we didn't even get a single Skull Knight, right? We didn't even get one. Or did we? 
I'm going to have to check back on the video, but I don't even think we got one Skull Knight out of 120 of those cards. That's absolutely pathetic. We got eight Dread Drakes now, and we have eight Ghoulims now. So we got a little more of each of those. Now, as far as the Prime Hero Card 2 goes, what do we want from this mainly? Prime Hero Card 2s, honestly, I would suggest opening these bad boys up one at a time. And the reason why I say that isn't because I just made that up. It probably is, honestly, random odds. But I have opened up in my past probably around like a thousand Prime Hero Card 2s just from all the accounts I've been on and whatnot, right? And every time I open them up one at a time, it always seems like you get, you know, more rare heroes than you get some of that top row action. You really want to avoid the top row from this card. So Trixie Treat, Revenant, Lil Nick, Michael, and Heartbreaker. Obviously, you want to avoid all those heroes. The more you get of the bottom row, the better. Now, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to keep up with everything we get. So I'm going to open up 10 of these at uh, 10 of these one by one. And then we'll go ahead and open up the rest of the 40 um, all together. So we start off with a Revenant. Hopefully it proves me right. We got a little Nick as well. You better show up with the rare heroes. There is a rare one. We got Rockno. We got another Revenant. We got a Ronin. There's another rare hero. What else we got? Give me an Anubis one time. Anubis, Gunslinger, something. Walla Walla. That's a nice rare one right there. Wallace probably the rarest hero you can get from that. Another Ronin. A Frank as well. So we've seen a lot of rare heroes at the end here. And a Lil Nick. So that was 10. Not bad. I was pretty uh, excited with outcome. And what do we get? We got we got one Rockno, two Ronins, one Walla Walla, and one Frank. So actually we got over 50% of rare heroes. We'll take that. Let's go ahead and quick open the rest of these 40. See what we get here. We got a Gunslinger in there. I see that. We got, oh. All right. Let me go back up to the top and see here. So we got one Trixie, three Michaels, three Lil Nicks. We got one Gunslinger out of the last 10. So that right there, in my opinion, almost proves my point. Does it not? Like we just opened up 10 solo and we got at least five rare heroes. We just upped and up 10 all together. And right away, we got one Gunslinger out of the 10. Now for the next batch, we got two Ronins, one Walla, and one Frank. So not bad. Four rare heroes out of the next 10. That's actually not that bad. And then, oh, we got five out of this one. If you consider, I mean, three of the same, three Ronins, one Rockno, and one Frank. And then from the last, we got two Ronins, one Rockno, and one Mectessa. It seems like they made the Mectessa pretty hard to get. I wasn't, it's not bad uh, actually getting two out of, how many cards do we have total? Two out of 50 was Walla Walla, so that's not bad. That's not bad. Only one out of 50 was Gunslinger, though, which is kind of crazy. Was there any hero we did not get out of that? Anubis. We didn't even see one Anubis. Holy shamokes! Well, wow, that's crazy. So not even one Anubis out of 50 cards. And Anubis is probably, in my opinion, by far the most sought-out hero to get from um, Prime Hero Card 2s, right? I mean, yeah, definitely. Anubis is definitely the best. If, if you're starting out a new free-to-play account and you get Anubis early... Your free-to-play account is going to go 0 to 100 real quick. So if you're a new player to Castle Clash and you're like, JT, what bazaar should I buy? And you don't have Anubis, any bazaar with Anubis, you should go ahead and pick that up. Because honestly, Anubis is like, what is it? He's like uh, $5 these days. So if you see a $4 pack, $4.99 cent pack with Anubis in there, and you don't have Anubis, your account will completely change because Anubis is an absolute animal in insane dungeons and will help your team out a ton. All right, so we got Prime Hero Card 3s. Now, we got Athene, Sasquatch, um, Aspirita, Dove Keeper, Serena, Storm Eater, and Professor Ribbit. Now, I did get lucky enough on my free-to-play to open up one of these Prime Hero Card 3s, and I got super lucky. Unfortunately, I didn't get Athene, which is definitely the most popular one to get from Prime Hero Card 3s. I actually got Storm Eater. Which was huge because that's who I was cheering for. So I was like, oh, baby, got him. So I got super lucky with that. Um, as far as the Prime 3 goes, I say we go ahead and open up uh, 14 of these bad boys solo. And then we'll open up the last 20 all at once. Now, when you're opening up Prime Hero Card 3s, the main hero you're going to get, no matter what, I'm already 100% sure of this. Because honestly, I've opened up over 1,000 of these cards and, I mean, you'll be able to tell just from this 34, you will see a lot more Athenes than anything else. No doubt about that. Obviously, the hero you want most is Dove Keeper, especially if you don't have Dove Keeper, because Dove Keeper is an absolute beast, does the most damage of any hero in the game to another hero, right? Dove Keeper can literally one-shot even Levanica in this game. So any hero can be one-shot by Dove Keeper. 
Unless it's another Dove Keeper, because obviously Dove Keeper only takes in a certain amount of damage. So, we're going to be cheering for mainly Dove Keeper, also Storm Eater. I want to see a lot of Storms and a lot of Doves. I know they made Professor Rivet really rare too, but who really cares about Professor Rivet, to be honest with you? Alright, so let's go ahead and open up these bad boys. Start me off with a Dove one time. So, as I said, Athene's going to be the most popular. What do you know? Athene right away. I'm sure another Athene's going to show up. Alright, Athene, then a Sasquatch. It's nice to see Sash. We got Serena, though. Okay, it's not definitely nice to see Serena Williams. We got a Spirit as well. Four for four on changing it up. Another Serena. It's nice to see Serena. Serena's a really good hero to get from this. We got Sasquatch again. We got another Aspirita. So still no Doves yet. No Storm Eaters. That makes me feel really happy that I got Storm on my free-to-play because uh, there he is. I was about to say, there's the Storm Eater. Come on, show me a Dove now. No Professor Ribbit, no Dove. Of course, there's another Athene. What else do we got? We got another Athene. Come on, stay away from Athene, baby. Another Athene? Three things in a row? How many is that total? So we got two more solos. All right, come on. Give me a Dove, baby. Dove. Professor Ribbit comes out of nowhere. All right, Dove on the last one. Come on, Dove. Serena again. So honestly, oh, man, yeah, maybe they made Dove the hardest one to get. It definitely isn't Serena. I thought Serena was going to be a little bit harder than that, but we did pull off a Storm too. We got quite a bit of Athenes, and as you can tell, Athene was by far the most popular hero from Prime Hero Card 3. All right, so let's go ahead and open up all 20 of these bad boys. Let me see, how many Doves are we going to get? Out of 20 cards, I'm going to go ahead and make a, I'm going to make, I'm just going to make a quick guess, an estimate. So I'm thinking we're going to get five Athenes, three Sasquatches, three Aspiritas, one Dove, two Serenas. Wait a minute, how many is that? So five, three, two, that's eight. One Dove, three Serenas, so we got six left. That's too much. I got to go with some more Athenes or more stuff. All right, so we'll go with six Athenes. We'll go with four Sasquatches, so that's ten right away. Then we'll go with two Aspiritas, one Dove, three Serenas, and then we'll go two Storm Eaters and two Professor Rivets. That'll be my guess. All right, let's go ahead and open up all 20 of these bad boys. What do we got? We got... Wow! We didn't even get a single Dove? Come on, man! Nine of things! So I'm pretty sure, like, I called this before I even opened up the Prime Hero cards, specifically that we were going to see the most Athenes, and I think that that's pretty much obvious now, especially with open up 20 at once. I mean, out of the 20, we got nine Athenes. That's absurd. We did get two Storm Eaters, though, which is nice. Two Serenas as well. Five Aspiritas, which isn't, like, that great, but not that bad either. It's better than seeing a bunch of Athenes. Only one Sasquatch, which is pretty surprising, and then one Professor Rivet as well. Overall, I mean... I enjoyed opening up all these rewards. Hopefully, you guys did as well. Stay tuned because there will be more videos coming soon, guys. I am out of here for now. Peace out, fellas.